making a spatchcock chicken in a really zingy marinade. To begin with, I'm going to prepare the chicken. You're going to have to hold it quite firmly and with a strong pair of scissors, I'm going to cut either side of the backbone. There we go. It's really actually quite easy to do. And then you're just going to do the same on the other side. Again, use the parson's nose as your guide. And just stay close to the bone because you don't want to lose any chicken. And then just remove that piece. Open out the chicken and then turn it back round. And just with the heel of your hands, just flatten it down. And the reason we're doing this is because it gives it a greater surface area to marinate and also it cooks more evenly than a whole chicken. And using your fingers, just separate the skin from the breast because that's a really good place to put a marinade. Go on either side. Don't worry if it tears a little bit, it's probably likely that it will. And then lift it onto a tray or a large plate. I've got a lovely marinade here, it's really zingy, it's got ginger, mint, chilli, garlic. For the full recipe, just click on the link. Just spoon that on top of the chicken. And then you can really rub it in. Take some of the marinade and push it inside. So you're moving it into that gap between the breast and the skin. Do the same on the other side, just take a piece and push it in. There we go. And we're basically going to massage the chicken all over with that lovely marinade and all of those flavours. Do both sides of it. And you can season it with salt and pepper at this stage too, if you like. So once the chicken's well marinated, just turn it over. And you want the legs facing you. I'm going to use skewers to secure the chicken into shape. You need quite long ones, and you're going to pierce through the thigh. And if it's long enough, you should be able to stretch all the way through just to pin in that wing bone. Do the same on the other side so that you're securing the chicken and that'll hold your chicken quite firmly in place. Then if you've got time, just cover the chicken and chill it for about an hour or so. I've got a sturdy roasting tin here that I've heated up. I'm going to add a bit of oil. Now, if you've got a lot of marinade on the top of the chicken, just brush it off because we're going to brown it in the tin. We don't want it to burn. And pop it into the pan, breast side down. Here, I've got some lime halves. I'm going to pop those into the tin alongside the chicken. Just going to give that a couple of minutes to get some colour. The chicken smells fantastic. I'm going to turn it over now and hopefully we'll have some nice browning. Now I'm going to take out those limes because they've caught a little bit of nice colour. I'm going to pop those back in later. I've got some extra marinade left in the tin. I'm going to put a little bit back onto the chicken breast. And keep a little bit back for the sauce we're going to serve with it. And now this needs to go into the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour until it's completely cooked through. Add the limes back in for the last few minutes of cooking. Lift out the chicken onto a board along with those limes. Cover with a sheet of foil and leave to rest. Now I'm going to add that reserved marinade back into the pan. Got some chicken stock. And a can of coconut cream. And then give that a good stir together and cook it until it's bubbling and piping hot and it'll make a delicious sauce to serve with our chicken. And for more recipes, don't forget to click to subscribe.